There are numerous mods and upgrades that can be applied to the ANET A8 3D printer. The first quick and easy mod is printing and adding a button to cover over the extruder bolt. This makes it easier to press the button when adding and removing the filament. Next is to print two T-corner braces. The braces are used to remove some of the tower movement. Once printed, install on the upper left and right tower by pressing into place. This mod improves the stabilisation to the top frame but does not eliminate all movement. The MOSFET's job is to handle the switching and delivery of the high current. MOSFETs can be added to the hot end extruder and to the hotbed, which remove the load from the main board. Before working on the electronics on the printer, power off the unit and unplug the power cable. Measure and cut two pieces of 16 gauge wire, measuring from the power supply to where the MOSFET is going to be installed. Using forked terminals and a crimping tool, place the terminals on one end of the strip wires, then crimp the ends with the crimping tool. Pass the wires through the frame and to the location of where the MOSFET will be installed. Trim the ends of the wires to length if required. Then strip the ends of the wires and place on the forked terminals. To mount the MOSFET, we printed a holder which mounts under the existing main circuit board. Place the MOSFET onto the holder and mount using four M3 bolts with a length of 10 millimeters. On the main board, remove the two lower screws and standoffs which are holding the board. Place the MOSFET holder with the two upper standoffs under the main board. Reinstall the two screws that were holding the main board and secure the MOSFET in place. Disconnect the two hotbed wires from the main board and install the two signal wires from the MOSFET into the location. Install the two hotbed wires removed from the main board into the MOSFET to the screw terminals labelled hotbed. Next install the two wires prepared earlier from the power supply into the MOSFET. Finally, on the power supply, wire in the two power wires for the MOSFET to complete the wiring. Installing the power plug allows you to have a removable power cable, a switch to power on and off the printer, and a fuse to protect in case of any faults. Download and print the power supply cover to suit your printer. The printed item holds the switch and covers the exposed wiring. This particular power switch requires two holes to mount it to the cover. Prepare the cover by drilling two 4mm holes. Next, test fit the printed cover to the frame. One side will mount to the power supply and the other mounting point is to the printer's frame. Mark the second mounting point, then drill a 3mm hole into the acrylic frame. The next part is to wire the switch and the plug. We have soldered the wires directly to the terminals, but we can also use insulated crimps. Install the switch into the printed cover and mount using two M4 bolts. Wire the switch to the power supply terminals, then mount the cover with two M3 bolts, one into the side of the power supply and the second bolt into the acrylic frame. Plug in the power cable and switch on the printer. The LED in the switch will be illuminated when the printer is turned on. These are some easy upgrades to apply and improve the performance and safety of your printer. <laughs>